Well, I somehow managed to break my sink while I was on break. So um, yeah, fix sink is on the to-do list. Anyways, we are down to the final deck of Popper. Since we haven't beaten this joke into the ground enough on the previous three marathons, let's spin the wheel and see what we're gonna get. Truly a surprising result. All right, the last deck is Fairies. Now, Fairies does come in a number of different flavors. There is the mono blue flavor that you see in front of you. There is the also uh, Is It Fairies, which plays red for like Scred and sometimes Commodore Fleet Commander to get the Monarch. And then less common than that is Demir Fairies. But for today, we are playing mono blue fairies because popper monobases are awful and i wanted to play the version that doesn't get color screwed or have tap lands so this is basically a tempo deck and we have a number of things going on we've got the fairy miscreant which is a 1-1 flyer that draws a card if you have another fairy miscreant we've got fairy seer which scries two when you play it and it's a 1-1 flyer for one we've got spell stutter sprite the best fairy two mono 1-1 with flash and flying ETB, counter target spell with mono value X or less, where X is the number of fairies you control, so at least one if you have spell stutter sprite, and higher values if you have more fairies. And those are the main fairies in the deck, and then of course we have the ninjas, Moon Circuit Hacker and Ninja of the Deep Hours, because all of our fairies are flying, so it's easy to attack into our opponent, we can get draws with them, and we can pick up all of our guys which all have ETB triggers, which is especially great when we ninja spell stutter sprite back to our hand. Then on top of that, we've got Of One Mind because eight of our ninjas are humans and then the rest of our guys are not humans. We've got one Echoing Truth to bounce stuff, four Spike as more counter magic, straight up counter spell as more counter magic, a Spell Pierce, Mutagenic Growth either to get more damage in or protect our guys from burn, although not really that successfully since they're mostly X1s. And then some other creatures to note are Brine Barrow Intruder, one mono, one two with flash ETB, target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus zero until end of turn. And it is a human, which is relevant for of one mind. And again, also has an ETB trigger, which means if you pick it up with a ninja, you get to do it again. And Snare Master Sprite, one mana, one one flyer fairy wizard, and ETB, you may pay two when you do tap target creature and opponent controls and put a stun counter on it, which means it doesn't untap for one turn. Then in the sideboard, we've got a null, for the artifact decks, we've got Blue Blast, we've got Curfew, each player bounces a creature, which is great when you're bouncing Spell Stutter Sprite and whatnot, or Ninjas, Dispel, Hydra Blast, more Snare Masters, Echoing Truth, number two, and Fairy Macabre for Graveyards. And that's Fairies, so let's go to the last League of Popper. All right, we're on the play for round one of Fairies. Uh, this looks fine, keep land, Fairies here, Scrying. Um, I don't think I actually want either of these, so let's bottom them both. Back to the opponent. Ancient Den, Ginger Brute, Ornithopter. Well, hmm, I'm gonna block this. Just keep their, their count low. All right, back to them. Island, attacking with Ornithopter. All right, let's, uh, so let's allow that and then they'll ninja and then we can snap the ninja. Yeah, Moon Circuit Hacker. I debated just playing Spell Stutter Sprite to block. Let's just snap this and untap these. So Ornithopter, then we Spell Stutter Sprite that. So now the Ornithopter is gone, and then we're back to us. Okay, go to combat, swing with the Spell Stutter. Another land. All right, counter that. No more plays from them. All right, play land, attack with Spell Stutter. I think I go Shields down for one turn in order to cast Of One Mind. All right, cast Of One Mind, and back to them. This is pretty good. Ancient Den, Moon Circuit Hacker, all that glitters. All right, so I can snap that. I'm definitely going to do that, so let's just do it now. So snap, untap lands, then play this, scry. All right, let's put, I guess, both on top. Top, top, combat, attack with spell stutter. And we have literally this spell stutter sprite and then another spell stutter sprite that we're drawing and counter spell. So we're just gonna start countering everything. Thought cast. Well, I can actually straight up counter that. So let's just do that, counter that. Okay, ninja returns, then go to combat, attack with just this one. Frog might, can't counter that, all right. Mur Enforcer, can't counter that either. All right, well, let's flash in Sprite and then use this one to block this one. So block here. All right, so let's go to combat and just attack with Spell Stutter. And then I'm gonna flash this in and double block Frogmite. This one, all right, Spell Stutter that. Oh, they also have Metallic Rebuke, sure. So then Thraben enters, swing, all right, Brine Barrow Intruder, then target this one. So then double block Frogmite. So this dies, we take four from Mur Enforcer. All right, of one mind. Play this. Then I'm going to attack and I'm going to, I guess, ninja back spell stutter sprite, probably. All right, so let's go to combat. 
Or do I just do Fairy Seer? I'm not sure. I guess Fairy Seer. It's better, like, if I have it next turn. Nah, if they know we have it, then it's worse. All right, let's just ninja this one. All right, so then we hit them. The ninja triggers, we draw a card. We drew an island. All right, uh, play Fairy Seer. So trigger, bottom this, bottom this. Over to them. So crack the clue, plays a land, plays Thraven Inspector, cracks the clue. All right, we take four from Mirror Enforcer. Snare Master Sprite. All right, so I can tap down Thraven and get the ninja in, kind of. Or do I just tap down Mirror Enforcer? Hmm. Now, because I want to be able to attack in, and then they either have to block it or we draw a card. So cast Snare Master. So trigger, pay the mana, and then tap one of the Thravens. Go to combat, attack all. They will chump the ninja. All right, so land, Fairy Miscreant, pass to them. Frogmite, Mirror Enforcer. Hmm. Attack with Mirror Enforcer, take it, go to eight. Well, the ninja can't attack anymore. Drawing a counterspell, that's not great. So go to combat, swing with all the flying creatures. Fly, fly, fly. Man, they're at nine. So, so close. All right, well, back to them. We do have to block at least one creature. Darksteel Citadel. So swing, then we chump block one of the Mer Enforcers. Fairy Miscreant. All right, play this, draw a card, another counterspell. So I have to have two blockers available to block the Mer Enforcers, but that's it. And potentially one more blocker in case they have like all that glitters or something to put on one of their other creatures. So let's go to combat and we'll swing here, here, here. No, I don't actually, I don't have to have any of their blockers, right? Because I just have double counter spell to counter whatever they play. Yeah, so I just swing this and then we just block here and block here and then we live. All right, put them to one. Cast Ornithopter, counter. All right, swing, swing, swing. Block here, block here. So we're at one and then they die on the backswing. Okay, um... So let's see, a Null probably wants Snare Master in order to tap down their big guys. Echoing Truth, because all that glitters is like the main thing that matters here, so bounce spells, but not this one. They have too many extraneous creatures for this to matter. So let's see, Force Spike I don't think is effective, because again, I have a lot of cheap stuff. I definitely don't think Mutagenic Growth is useful in this matchup, nor do I think Spell Pierce is. So we'll do that. All right, let's do that. Hmm, all right, mull that. Well, going to five seems pretty bad, so let's keep this and put back a land. All right, play a tap land, then we do this, and then I'm, I have no reason to flash in Brine Barrow unless they have Ginger Brute, so let's just play this dude so that next turn we have the ability to play this in Of One Mind. See, so do this in Odd. Ginger, so they do have Ginger Brute. All right, Spring Leaf Drum, Thought Cast. All right, well, I can't rely on Spell Stutter Sprite here, so let's just play this and then cast Of One Mind, then go to Combat and swing with this guy. Ornithopter. Island, Ginger Brute, all right, bull. Oh, I can't block it, right? Yeah, so, and they Ninja, okay. So they draw from the Ninja, and then we're back to us, or no, they're gonna play Thraben or something else. Circle of Protection Blue, hmm. Well, I guess I play, I think I play nothing. I think I hold up Brine Barrow to target the, this guy, and Spell Stutter Sprite. Yeah, all right, swing here. Oh, I should've swung here too, whatever. Ancient Den. Swing with both. Huh. So they're going to ninja this one. So let's Brine Barrow whatever they ninja. So let's just block here. And then they'll ninja this one. And then we Brine Barrow the ninja. So the ninja hits the field. And we cast Brine Barrow. And Brine Barrow the ninja. So that it doesn't get the card draw effect. And then these trade. Ornithopter. I'm just going to counter that. I can't guarantee that I can counter anything else from them. So I may as well just do this. Ginger Brute. Glitters. Okay. So... Play this, play a Snare Master, trigger, pay it, target Ginger Brute, then play this, go to combat, swing everything here. I do need to find bounce spells pretty pretty quickly to deal with everything they're doing, though. Thought cast, of one mind, Ornithopter returns, Mer Enforcer, yep. Ninja of the Deep Hours, so I need to swing with multiple flyers. So go to combat, swing here, swing here, swing here. Hmm. Like, they can just spend all their mana that is the problem, right? And they can also prevent Ninja from actually hurting them. All right, let's just attack with everything. Circle Pro Blue. Just auto yield to Circle. Circle. Mm-hmm. So all these. Blocking step. What will they put Ornithopter in front of? In front of that one, sure. So let's Ninja a Snare Master. Now the Ninja can hit them and draw a card. All right. And then we Snare the Ginger Brute. So Snare. And then keep the Ginger Brute tapped down. And back to them. Swings with Mer Enforcer, no blocks. Go to 14. Plays a ninja. All right, so, the, oh, snap. Excellent. Hmm. Well, it's got to be the Ginger Brute, right? So, huh. Let's go to combat. What am I attacking with? I'm never blocking Mirror Enforcer, so I just need to have enough guys left to block these two. So, let's see. 
ninja this one this one this one this one actually just to attack with everything so block spell stutter block there sure and then they're gonna pro all the other guys right yeah so pro all the other guys then go to damage these ninjas trade and they take nothing so then we snap the ginger brute untap these and play fairy seer trigger to scry what am i scrying into snap island i don't want either although snap could be useful for yeah it's not useful for anything because nothing i get in is going to matter because of circle protection yeah so let's just bottom it all and then back over to them ginger brute returns they ginger brute again so two ginger brutes so we're taking two from here that we can't block oh really they're just going to swing all like that all right well block the ninja then we take six and then the circle of protection is just preventing us from dealing anything to them spell stutter spray all right well we got to probably quadruple block Mer Enforcer, unfortunately so let's just pass back to them plays a land ginger brute's unblockable the other one also is unblockable just swinging with those and not Mer Enforcer. yeah so we're on a four turn clock even if i find a bounce spell for this i did find a bounce spell for this all right well let's just do it at the end of their turn i guess yeah all right back to them so i got to end of turn echoing truth that and then have spell stutter sprite to counter it when they play it again make ginger brute unblockable make ginger brute unblockable uh-huh can't block them we go to four i'm surprised they wouldn't just attack with mer enforcer to trade a bunch of guys all right end of turn echoing truth on circle so then back to us ninja all right what am i ninjaing so let's go to combat can't block the ginger brutes anyway so swing 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 i probably need a blocker for the mer enforcer so swing i potentially need snare master in order to snare the ginger brute to prevent it from killing me so block the spell stutter sprite and then we ninja a snare master then damage counter spell as well all right i, ha I have to counter circle of protection so i can't play anything else i also have to be able to snare one of the ginger brutes so that we don't just die of one mind yep can't counter anything except circle because we can't win the game if they have circle thought cast raven inspector mm-hmm so attacks they swing there then we go to block we have to chump the mer enforcer all right we're at two raven inspector mm-hmm sacks the clue so they're just not going to play it because they can just play it next turn all right flash and spell stutter i'm not going to do nothing so then back to us and they have one blocker and everything else can attack them except the ninja so i have to snare a ginger brute so let's go to combat i also have to have blockers for the thrabens right so this taps this down and blocks this then this can't be blocked and then i need a blocker for both of these guys so the ninja can block so okay this blocks here taps this this blocks here and then i need another creature held back to block this one so i actually don't just don't really have any good attacks here then yeah i guess i'm just not attacking play snare master so pay this and target ginger brute and then over to them thought cast yep circle protection counter spell all that glitters on this guy and then they make it unblockable and we're dead sure all right so i don't think i change anything run it back on the play this hand is not good but could get there i like the annul so let's keep i'm probably just better off annulling whatever they play rather than just playing a one one ancient den unless they just play thraben all right just annul that another ornithopter all right Ooh, fairy miscreant fairy miscreant what a good draw back to them see to the synod ninja hmm i need to draw cards so i guess let's attack here and they're not blocking really why not just block here all right snap my fairy miscreant untap these play fairy miscreant draw a card another snap all right well snap this one untap two lands play it again draw now we drew a ninja well over to them I don't think I block their ninja here either. I need to be able to get in with two creatures and I can ninja this back. Attacking with both. Um, so just block the ornithopter. Uh-huh. Uh, very confused. Discarded Mer Enforcer. Circle of Protection Blue, sure. So then combat, swing here. Then in the block step, ninja one of these back. So ninja, draw a card. Okay, play this, play this, draw another card, play this, scry. This to the bottom, Echoing Truth, I think I want on top. Back to them. I think I will trade with this if they attack with it. Of one mind, after the frog might. No attacks from them. Hmm. Play an island. All right, go to combat. Swing all. Circle of protection. This guy doesn't do any damage to them. Okay. So, Echoing Truth, my ninja. Then ninja. And pick this one up. So now it does do damage to them. So we draw a card. 
And then I play the fairy, draw another card. Almost feeling like Boros Synthesizer here, eh? Fourth land, and then they're just not going to do anything. Okay, they are attacking. I don't think I'm going to be able to bounce this anymore. Probably. So let's just block with the ninja. Ninja, the frog might back to their hand. Very well. So they get a ninja trigger. Then the frog might gets to come back for free. Uh-huh. Thought cast. Ornithopter. Mur Enforcer. That circle of protection blue is such a bitch. All right, island. I just don't have a counter spell for it. That's the issue. All right, go to combat. Swing here. Will they circle the other one? No, they won't. They've learned their lesson. All right, snare master. So trigger. So tap this and keep the Mur Enforcer tapped. Then snare master, trigger, pay that one and tap the Ornithopter. And then back to them, five mana. Glitters the ninja, attacks like that. Hmm. I'm going to have to echo that. So I'm taking 15. I can't afford to do that because then a ginger brute can kill me. Let's just chomp this. Ninja, the other one. Jeez. All right. Yeah. Frogmite. Wow. Um, man, this circle. Okay. Play a land. Go to combat. Let's attack with everything. They're blocking that. All right. So let's ninja and pick up, I think, snare master. Circle. Man, this is so awkward, but ninja pick up this one <laughs> yep all right ninja pick it up so then go to damage we trade with the frogmite this triggers we draw a card spell stutter oh man echoing truth put both ninjas back in their hand okay so echoing truth bounce that and then i need a snare master to block the ornithopter so they can't just get a free ninja hit in with that so they have two ninjas in their hand oh another frogmite all right well they have two ninjas in their hand Ginger Brute. Well, I can't stop that one. They have drawn like a god. All right, block this. I guess they can technically... Why didn't they attack with Ginger Brute? They would have been able to double ninja, right? All right, so pick up Mur Enforcer. We go to 12, and then they get to draw a card. Another Mur Enforcer. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, wait, no. Obviously, duh. Okay, well, I just can't hit them, right? I, can, I guess I can loop my ninjas, but I have to do it three times because they also can protect three times. So awkward. All right, so how does the math work out? So I ninja, they block. I ninja, they block. I ninja, they block. I ninja again. How, so I need two, three, five, six, eight. I have to do all of it in order to actually get a hit in. <laughs> and we're also just losing the race too. And they have another ninja in their hand. Oh my God. Um. So combat, swing. So then block. So the last one to be out is which one? Ninja, circle protection. Ninja, circle protection, ninja, circle protection. So I do this one first, then which, so whichever one's the last one. Okay, so ninja, pick this up, then they'll circle it. Mm -hmm. Then ninja, pick it up, circle, mm -hmm. ninja, pick it up, mm -hmm. ninja, pick it up. Oh my God, all right. So this finally hits them. We draw a card. I guess I pass with spell stutter open. I don't know. They've got another ninja, right? So it doesn't matter. I guess I just pass with spell stutter open. Thought cast. I don't have enough fairies to counter that. So yeah. All of one mind. I do have enough fairies to counter that. So spell stutter sprite. All right. Get out of here. Attack with Mer Enforcer and the ninja. So then let's block. Uh, let's block. I don't know. Let's block here. Kill this one. And then they can ninja this one. No, they're not. All right. We're at eight. Oh, thank God. All right. Of one mind. Draw some cards. Snap a null. Ugh. All right. So this ninja can't get in is the problem, right? I guess he could. I can get in with him and they can block. I guess I just have, or I can snap it back to my hand, right? This is seven right here. All right, go to combat, swing. They're at four, like, all right, what's blocking this dude? Block here, block here. All right, snap this ninja back to my hand, untap some lands, then ninja, ninja the spell stutter back. Then they circle, sack ginger brute, okay? They're just gonna take it. They're just going to take it? Sure. Draw. So they have Metallic Rebuke in hand. They have to. That has to be what they have. All right. Play Fairy Seer. Trigger. Uh, I guess Snare Master can be on top. So let's leave that there. No, I don't have a way of cycling ninjas anymore. No, actually it can't be on top. I have to draw something else. So bottom that. So then I can snare the Mur Enforcer so they can't attack with it. And then, man, this is so awkward. Okay. Well, let's play. Let's just play this. Yeah. Play Snare Master. All right, enters, pay for it, keep Mer Enforcer tapped. All right, over to them. So they can ninja the frog might if they so desire. Cast Ginger Brute. All right, let's just count. Let's just try to counter that. Spell Stutter. Huh, I wasn't expecting to counter that. 
Doesn't attack. All right, go to combat, swing. Frogmate blocks ninja, this blocks that. All right, I'm fine passing priority here. They gotta circle everything before damage if they wanna stop all the damage. Circle, mm-hmm, circle, mm-hmm, circle. All right, so ninja pick up snare master. Then they gotta circle again, okay? So then damage, then these trade, and then they take nothing. And then we play snare master, trigger it, pay it, use this, keep Murenforcer tapped, back over to them. Cast that, let's counter that, spell stutter. All right, plays another land, cast that, that resolves. So I gotta keep their mana occupied so that they can't use the clue. All right, back to us, what are we doing? Counter spell, I have to be able to block, so let's go to combat. Actually, I don't have to be able to block. Attack with everything. They have four mana, so they can keep four of them on un hitting them, and then Thraben blocks. So yeah, this blocks here, this blocks here, and then they gotta circle all the rest. Keep their mana occupied so they can't crack the clue. Circles all the other dudes. The ninja trades with Thraben, and then no damage is dealt otherwise. And then it's back to them. Cracks the clue. Oh yeah, so then we take damage from Murnforcer. Mm-hmm. No blocks. We go to four. Back to us. All right, well, we can't really attack them anymore, so play this. Fast to them. Plays that, counter, attack with Murnforcer. All right, let's block, 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 block. Let's actually not block with Fairy Miscreant. All right, block there. All right, we trade. Back to us. Oh my God, Fairy Miscreant off the top. Let's draw and uh, just cast this. I guess I technically should have held that for Ninja to try to attack with both and then draw another card, but I'm running too low on time. Plays a tap land. Over here, go to combat. Swing, swing, swing. Mm-hmm, I'm just gonna circle all of them. Blocks there. Ninja, pick this up. <sighs> Circle, mm-hmm. Play the fairy. Draw, back to them. Our clock's gonna run out before theirs will, unfortunately. Plays a land. Tap, tap. Counter that. Tap, tap. Counter that. All right, back to us. Go to combat. Swing with everything. Then F6 to the turn. Blocks there. Actually, we're going for the clock kill, apparently, because they have to waste time circle of protectioning each creature, which eats up their clock. All right. So over to them, let's just F6 through their turn. Plays a tap land of one mind, of one mind. Let's go to combat, swing, circle, circle. Yeah, so they circle all of our stuff and then we just pass blocks there. Mm-hmm. And then it's their turn. Plays a land. All right, end of turn, flash this dude. Flash spell stutter, back to us. Cast this, trigger, pay it, go to combat. All right, they're just circling everything. Tack. All right, circle, circle, circle down to the wire all right over to them they have three seconds and we have one due to the clock what a match what a match all right round two we're on the draw wow triple fairies eh all right i'll keep mountain implement of combustion all right play an island play a fairy go and then i guess i have to technically hold up mutagenic growth to protect from burn spells furnace cold off the rebirth yep chain lightning all right save this save it all right our fairy is saved all right, I'm just gonna flash in Brine Barrow. So hit them and then back to them. Three mana, Sticker Goblin. Ugh, not having a second land really hurt. Six mana, cool. Sticker Goblin again. Yep, Bushwhacker. Yeah, fuck this. All right, so all the blasts. Uh, Echoing Truth to bounce all the tokens. Let's see, uh, Mutagenic Growth, not really the, so great here. What else? What are our worst cards in this matchup? Snap is kind of bad. All their creatures just, yeah, snap's kind of bad. All right, run this. Oh man, no one turn one play either. All right, keep, it's fine. Island, go. Mountain into Swift Spear, sure. Now we draw Fairy Seer. Well, I guess I play it. Trigger, scry. I want Force Spike, I don't want Miscreant. Over to them. Second Mountain. Reckless Impulse, impulses into Blast Synthesizer. Well, so no blocks. We go to 17, land, combat. Swing, then ninja, pick this up, trigger, draw a card. They're just gonna blast next turn anyway. I would rather play this and just guarantee the uh, of one mind. All right, put snare master back, put of one mind on top. Cast of one mind over to them. Synthesizer, synthesizes into a mountain. Koldotha rebirth, cool. Synthesizes into great furnace and then they'll blast something. I don't know whether they blast the seer. Yeah, okay, they're blasting the fairy. And then we take four from swift spear. Go to 13. So I don't have any good attacks here. So I guess I just, I could Sprite and of one mind and still have Force Spike up. That doesn't seem great though, but just passing doesn't seem great either. Yeah, all right, let's pass. Synthesizer, cast Sprite, trigger, 
And they have a burn spell in response. Of course they do. And I can't force spike it. Yeah, we're just going to lose. All right, concede. On to round three. All right, we're on the draw. This hand's not good, Moldus. All right, I guess I'm keeping this, and I'm putting back a Snare Master. See to the Synod. Ugh, oh, Affinity again. All right, Thraven, mm-hmm. Frogmite, yep. I think I actually just hold up Spell Pierce in case they cast Glit... Nah, never mind, I'll just do this one. Ancient Den, Thought Cast, of One Mind. All right, and they're attacking. No blocks. All right, well, we're ninjing our guy. So, Combat, Swing, and Ninja. All right, draw, back to them. We drew Brine Barrow. Spring Leaf Drum. All right, if they're attacking the Ornithopter, then they have a Ninja. So, yep. Although, honestly, it would probably be better to bounce Thraben than Ornithopter, but whatever. Unless they know they have another thing that they're going to play. Two Ornithopters and playing a Ninja. All right, well, let's go to combat, attack, and then when they block, we'll Brine Barrow and reduce its power. Uh -huh. Brine Barrow and target this dude. So their guy dies. And then we have a blocker for this and have Spell Setter Sprite up. For something that costs one, which is unfortunately not much, but what can you do? Ginger Brute. All right. Well, cast Spell Stutter. They have Rebuke. Yep. All right. Rebuke. They only have one card left in their hand. What could it be? Swing, swing, swing. Make Ginger Brute unblockable. All right. Trade with the Ninja. All right. Let's just guarantee that I have a draw. So let's play Snare Master, trigger, and then tap down Thraben. Go to combat, attack with Ninja. All right. And then I'll just cast off one mind. Three lands, Fairy Seer, Spell Pierce. Cracks the clue. Darksteel Citadel. Makes Ginger Brute unblockable. Ginger Brute, Frogmite attack, no blocks. We go to six. Plays another Ornithopter. All right. Oh my god, another land. Jesus. Fairy Seer. Counter spell is not really great at this point. Moon Circuit Hacker is also not really great at this point. All right. Well, I probably have to double block the Frogmite. So let's attack. Attack with Ninja. And we'll just block with an Ornithopter, which is fine. Then pass to them. We cannot actually spell pierce an all that glitters if they play one. Murrenforcer. Ginger Brute, Frogmite, Thraben. Makes Ginger Brute unblockable. All right, double block Frogmite. Trade, we go to four. And then I have to find a way to deal with Murrenforcer plus whatever else. We've drawn another land. Well, we just flooded like crazy. So sideboard, annul, snare master, echoing truth. Cut four spike, cut mutagenic, spell pierce. All right, we're good. One land and we can't play anything other than Fairy Miscreant or a Null. Yeah, Mull. Oh, what is going on with our mana? Mull, keep, I don't even know, this one back and Ninja back because I don't even have anything to do with it. Island, go. See to the Synod. Counter, Ginger Brute. Island, go. Citadel. Counter, Ginger Brute. Drum. All right, Island of One Mind. Fairy Miscreant Ninja. Frogmite. Thought cast, see to the Synod, and tapping for Mur Enforcer. All right, well, Ninja's not doing anything here, so let's just play Fairy Miscreant and pass. Tap land, swings for six, no blocks, and they Ninja their frog, right? Yep, Ninja the frog, replays the frog. All right, combat, swing, then Ninja, pick it up. So trigger, draw, spell setter sprite, you say. I still have to have blockers is the problem. Play Fairy. All right, let's just pass back to them. Ancient Den, Thraven Inspector, let's just counter that. Oh, they're gonna counter back? Sure, sure. Talic Rebuke, can't pay for it. All right, Thraven, the only thing we can block is the Ninja. Swing all, all right, block here. So go to eight, Ninja dies, Fairy dies, back to us. Combat, swing, will they chump with the Thraven? Yes, they will. All right, so Thraven dies, and then I'll just cast the Ninja regularly so I can at least trade with Frogmite. Cracks the clue, then it's back to them. Circle Pro Blue. Well, mm-hmm. Oh, and they have Glitters. I guess I'm not technically dead here. I have to Chump Mer Enforcer. Oh, and Thought Cast. Okay, now I'm dead. On to round number four. On the play for round four. All right, this is way better than the previous hands we've been getting. Island, Fairy Miscreant, over to them. Snow Island. All right. Uh, let's hold up Spell Pierce. So Combat, Swing. Actually, let's just get Ninja out. All right, Ninja. Boom, hit them, draw. And then what are they doing? Cycle Ash Barons, grabs a mountain, plays the mountain, plays a ninja normally, okay. Uh, go to combat, swing. All right, Mutagenic Growth, damage, kill your ninja. And then let's play Fairy Miscreant, and back to them. Snow Island, plays Brainstorm, sure. Moon Circuit Hacker, uh-huh. All right, let's keep attacking. Swing with all. All right, so the ninjas trade, then we'll ninja the fairy, trigger. So ninjas trade off, we draw. 
All right, I think I just hold up counter spells now. I don't know. Let's pass to them. Because if they just untap and play like Murmuring Mystic or something, then I really need to counter their stuff. Cycle Lorian revealed. Let's brainstorm. All right, nothing else from them. Let's go to combat. Swing. All right, we just hit them and draw a card. Cool. Uh, play Miscreant. That they're trying to counter. All right, let's counter that back. So it is blue red fairies. So then this hits the field. Let's cast up one mind. Draw some more cards. Back to them. Fairy Seer. Bottomed both. Plays a land. Crimson Fleet Commodore. Yeah, all right. So there's the Monarch. All right, so let's Snare Master. Trigger. Pay for it. Tap down Crimson Fleet. Go to combat. Swing here. So no blocks. We draw off the Ninja and we draw off. Then we're going to get the Monarch. Ooh, another Fairy Miscreant. All right, Fairy Miscreant. Trigger. Play an Island. Play Fairy Miscreant. Draw a card, end step, Monarch, and over to them. And they don't have any good attacks either. <clears throat> so just got to absolutely prevent them from getting the Monarch back, right? I don't know exactly if I can do that. Let's just go to combat and attack with everything. Swing. I guess even if they take the Monarch back, then we just take it back from them. Will they block? No. All right, Ninja, the Fairy Miscreant. Ninja, Fairy Miscreant. Our hand's kind of disgusting. All right, that's enough. Blue, red. Cast into the fire main deck. All right, cast Spell Stutter Sprite, counter spell, spell pierce. All right, Spell Stutter comes in, counters cast into the fire, then damage, we draw three cards. So draw, draw, draw. All right, end step, Monarch trigger, draw. I have to discard how much? Three cards. All right, let's get rid of Fairy Seer, Fairy Seer, and Ninja, I guess. So then this finally untaps, but they're at three. So, I mean, doesn't look good for them. Attacks with both. Sure, I'm not going to block either. Mm-hmm. Scred our dude. All right, we can't block anyway. Ninja back the fairy. So steal the monarch back. Ninja trigger. Replace fairy seer. They're still just dead on board. All right, yeah. All right, so I want blue blasts to counter their screds and red blasts and, 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 and. Uh, don't really want echoing truth. Don't want mutagenic growths because the screds will eventually just do more damage than that is worth. What else? Dispel I probably want kind of want snare master but not a lot this matchup is going to be a lot of instant speed stuff so yeah let's cut these and let's do that as much instant speed interaction for one mana as possible all right keep volatile fjord all right land play fairy over to them plays a snow island plays fairy seer both to the bottom all right go to combat swing blocks all right flash and brine barrow i just want to keep my guys on the board so that i can ninja as much as possible yeah, target, gets no power, red, bolt, blast. So that all exchanges, then their guy dies, and then it's back to them. All right, back to us. Go to combat, swing. All right, before blocks, ninja back brine barrow. All right, we hit them, so we get to draw. Another moon circuit. All right, pass back to them. They had no effect. Two mana, auger, counter that. All right, they're just missing lands. So combat, swing, and then before blocks, I'm going to ninja this ninja, and then I'm going to ninja the fairy and get two more draws so draw draw play a land and then just pass with two ninjas in play and counter spell up they just can't do anything no maybe no nope, nothing red and blue cast into the fire uh just counter that blue blast is pretty good draw all right let's go to combat swing damage triggers draw discarding hmm i'm just like winning on the board let's just discard brine barrow and then draw, discard, Fairy Miscreant. Yeah, all right. Over to them. Just keep holding up bounce, counters, etc. Opponent cast. Smash to dust. Just counter that. Go to combat. Swing. And then ninja this one. Then ninja this one. Draw some more cards. Draw, draw. How about we not hit a land by now? Huh. All right. So we're going to go to clean up. What am I ditching? This ninja is more expensive. I'll discard a snap. Not doing anything on their side. All right. Back to us. Go to combat, swing, scred, um, spell pierce. I could have spell stuttered that too. All right, we win. And on to the final match, the last match of Popper. All right, we're on the play for the fifth and final round of Popper. This is fine. Island, Fairy Seer, Trigger. Uh, I kind of want both of these, so let's top them both. Over to them. Forest into Cerulee. All right, we got walls to fight. Play this, go to combat, swing. Then Ninja, pick it up, hit them, trigger, draw of one mind, then play Fairy Seer again, trigger, snap I definitely want, land I definitely don't want, so do that, back to them. 
Second forest into overgrown battlement. All right, we're snapping that 100%. It's really caretaker. Island, so combat, swing, so block there. So first off, let's snap this, then untap these, then ninja, pick up the fairy seer. Damage, always yes on this, always yield, draw. So play the fairy seer again, trigger, bottom this, and four spikes gonna quickly become irrelevant. So let's bottom that over to them. Replays battlement, place really caretaker. Back to us. All right, counter spells a good draw here. So let's. So the ground team's not getting in anymore. So let's combat, swing here, and then ninja, pick it up, hits, and draw a card. I think I have to hold counter spell up though. So then let's just back to them. Avicen's Pilgrim, that's fine. Galvanic, all right, let's counter that. They had nothing else to follow up with. Okay, so these can't get in. So let's cast of one mind. Oh wait, no, I don't have a fairy yet. So let's cast fairy seer. Trigger, snare master is okay that can tap down the battlement huh i probably just need to find counter spells they didn't have anything to do last turn either so let's just bottom both of these of one mind of one mind play land all right let's play fairy seer i doubt this force spike will work bottom this top this and then over to them but who knows maybe it'll do something maybe they'll have just enough mana to do everything three mana axe bane cast a whole bunch generous ent yeah they can pay for that makes a food and the ant has reach. Hmm. All right, so Stairmaster, then trigger. So pay for that. Tap down the ant. And then we go to combat, swing here. And then let's just hold up counter spell. So don't bother to ninja anything. They go to 12, back to them. Taps for battlement. Yeah, they can have as much mana as they want. They As long as they don't have a payoff. Makes a bunch of blue and black and green. Drift of Phantasms transmute. Wait, they transmuted for drift. Okay, they're transmuting again. Okay. Reaping the Graves, gotcha. So they can storm and get these back. Okay, so one targets this and one targets that, sure. So they can get both the Drifts back. Hops the food, uh-huh, sure. All right then, uh, go to combat, swing with everything. So block, block, block. All right, so Ninja out the Snare Master. Pick up Snare Master, then go to damage, trigger, draw from the Ninja, Fairy Seer. Trigger, Echoing Truth, and Counterspell are both good. So top, top, and then over to them. Quarian Ranger, sure. Tap for a whole bunch of mana. Tap for a whole bunch of mana. I'll just always yield to Transmute. Gets third path Savant. <sighs> so yeah, we got to counter that. Counter that. And they still have another Transmute to go. But at least if they go for a combo piece, they can't actually... All right, Valakut Invoker. So they still have a ton of mana is the problem. Yep. I don't think I can ever let them have third pass Savant, right? All right, kill Fairy, and then they can Query and Ranger to make more. So I have to bounce it back to their hand and counter it, which is just not viable, right? Yeah, I don't have a way to draw a card right now. That's the issue. All right, Snare Master, Trigger, pay for this, tap down Ent, then go to combat, swing everything, untap the Ent with Query and Ranger, sure. Uh, don't understand why that didn't untap, but okay. All right, because the stun counter stops it. Block there. Okay, so they're going to give us the draw. But they still get to untap with a ridiculous amount of mana. All right, well, they're going to get to Valakut invoke a lot of stuff off the field. So I guess pass back to them. I mean, they kill our whole board, right? Like, they just kill our whole board straight up and lead the Stampede. All right, we, we lose. All right, so Curfew, uh, what else? Snare Master is okay. Echoing Truth. I don't want Force Spike because they can just pay for it. I want Mutagenic Growth mostly spell pierce brine barrel really doesn't do crap right like it just reduces the power of their creatures that doesn't matter so if mutagenic's kind of fine spell pierce can maybe tag like a lead the stampede or something now force spike maybe tag stuff in the early game i don't know it's just not good generally though a lot of these cards just are not good generally all right let's submit that i guess i could have brought in fairy macabre to stop their reap the graves but that just seems so bad as well that means they already have a ton of mana all right can't keep that one land again all right can't keep that Guess I'm keeping this and chucking two lands. All right, island go. Forest into Arache Leaf Caller, sure. Oh, now we draw the fairy. All right, well, I can't not play it. Back to them. And there's the battlement. And once again, I can't just hold up counterspell. I have to, uh, well, yeah, all right. We'll, we'll ninja. All right, ninja, take this back up, draw. Still no other lands. All right, back to them. Surly Caretaker, three mana, Axe Bane Guardian. Okay, let's see. I can't attack into them anymore. All right, snap Axbane, untap these lands, and then I just can't do anything, so back to them. One, two, three, four, five. Tuk-tuk, rubble fort. That I'm fine with. 
They're just not going to do anything. All right, well, I'm going to Echoing Truth Battlement back to their hand then. Oi. Very Miscreant of one mind. Very Miscreant. Trigger. Yeah, back to them. And now they just play all their dudes again. Mm-hmm. That returns. Can tap immediately. Plays Axe Bane. Lead the Stampede. Four creatures. Korean Ranger. Yeah, mm-hmm. Axe Bane taps again. Eight mana. Apparently, I'm supposed to counter this thing. Drift. Freed from the reel. All right, yeah, they got it. All right, so... Uh, two and three with fairies, although I will point out that this was sticker bullshit and this game we just flooded. But other than that, you know, otherwise, if you want to count that as legitimate, then fine. Uh, fairies, I don't like Force Spike, especially in this list. I don't like Mutagenic Growth really either. These feel like just random inclusions that don't really have a good spot in this list. Other than that, the rest of the deck feels somewhat solid. It obviously has problems like against the wall deck where your ninjas can't get in anymore. That might be why some people gravitate towards the red version because you have Scred and can actually kill stuff. But I think Snap does a good job there too. Sideboard, I can't say much about it. It was pretty straightforward. I really don't like these Snare Master sprites very much. They have, they're have they sometimes useful, but they're also three mana to tap something is not, not good. And I can't help but think that there just could be something else to play instead of them. But overall, yeah, I think that wraps up the deck. So... That's the end of Popper, folks. All the Popper decks are done. And now that we're finished, just a quick overview of the decks and my thoughts on them. So we didn't play four color gates, so I'm ignoring that. So there's the different affinity decks. Actually, let me refresh this. Yes, I fixed that. So there's the two different affinity decks. I like Grixis Affinity more than Blue White Affinity. I think they're both good decks, but Blue White Affinity is very all in on all that glitters. Usually, like the games is hugely different depending on whether they have all that glitters or not. Whereas Affinity Grixis version has a lot more value plays, a lot more ability to interact, draw cards, find stuff. Like Gear Seeker Serpent is a legitimately big threat alone, even without a, and all that glitters. So I not only prefer playing Grixis Affinity, I also think it's just the better deck. Uh, Boggles is good, but it, of course, has the usual Boggles issues of drawing the wrong half. It has pretty rough times against Edicts. It can be outraced, etc. Ultratron's garbage, just terrible. Blackburn, the version that we played on stream was a suboptimal version. So, and then we wound up running into the prickly bog art version later. So like, I wasn't even aware that cards like Morsel Theft and uh, Soul Reap were even in the format. Had I known this is the version I would have played, I do still think though that it's just worse than other aggro decks. Then there's uh, Black White Ephemerate. I don't like that deck at all. I think it doesn't have anywhere near the value of the other Ephemerate decks. Call Gates is fine. But I do think that in a lot of these very, very slow decks like Cogates, you do want some kind of a big bomb finisher and can't solely rely on Basilisk Gate. So something like a Murmuring Mystic. Boros Bully sucks, don't play it. Cycle Storm's fine, but obviously you lose to Graveyard Hate. Cleric Footing, we misbuilt. Let me re rephrase that. I didn't read the card correctly and misbuilt the deck. Even so, I think it's too many pieces to put together. Having Needing to have... Priest of Norn slash the other cleric plus Doth plus Dara Spiritualist plus a target effect plus solid footing is like four different cards that you need in play is just too much. Boral Synthesizer is really good. It was one of the most fun decks to play. It's got a lot of synergies, lots of card advantage, and it doesn't have anything that feels like outright BS. None of the creatures in the deck are like super big bombs that are hard to deal with. It's just a bunch of two power flyers and other dinky small creatures, and you just outvalue the opponent. Delver, Mono Blue Delver is one of the best decks in the format. I think Talarian Terror and Cryptic Serpent are complete bullshit. Why do you get to play? Why are giant bombs one and two mana? Like, you should have to actually have a cost to play a huge creature that's going to win the game. And part of that cost is needing to pay a bunch of mana and tapping out. Anyways, that's fine. Burn. So this is the non-Koldatha version of Red Aggro, where you're more in on the burn spells. And I think it's fine, but it's just worse than Koldatha Red. Femrate Tron, we didn't play. Fairies, there's the, all the different fairies decks. I don't know if Is It or Mono Blue is the better fairies deck or not because we would need to play multi, we would need to play both decks and compare them. I think they're both fine. They have different strengths and weaknesses. Having lands that enter tapped is a huge weakness. Goblin combo is fine. Once again, it has the pr same problems as most of these combo decks, which is that you just lose to graveyard hate. It also has a lot of like clunky stuff and the fact that you can interact with the combo on the stack so that the uh, first day of class trigger 
can be interacted with. You can kill the goblin with that. Makes instant speed removal also viable to kill it, which makes the combo way worse. Familiars was the first deck I played, and that version I was playing sucked. Again, I think Familiars can be good, but you do need to play a combo. You need to be playing Sage's Road Denizen or Murmuring Mystic so that you can infinite mill or infinite make birds, not just... If all you're doing is ephemerating Archaeomancer and then you're just playing like Squadron Hawks and stuff, then it's not good. Terra used to be a little more fairer before Cryptic Serpent because there was tension between Talarian Terra and Gurmag Angler, but now you don't have that. You can just go... I think they're all bullshit. Gurmag Angler at least has the cost of... You have to delve away all the cards, meaning you can't just immediately run out another Gurmag. You have to refill your graveyard before you can play the second Gurmag. Whereas Cryptic Serpent and Talarian Terror do not have any cost associated with them. Elves is really good. It has the main weaknesses of it gets killed by sweepers like End of Festivities and whatnot, but otherwise super powerful deck. Uh, Infect was fine. It once again has the problem of it's a two-color deck, and that makes the deck so much worse. And you really cannot afford to cut blue because Blighted Agent is your best Infector. And it's got the same problems that Boggles has, where you need to draw the right mix of Infectors plus Pump Spells. Uh, then there's Demir Fairies, Golgari Midrange, Golgari Garden, sort of the same thing. Just okay midrange decks. I think if you're running a black deck with the troll, you just need to be on for Exhum, because Exhuming a troll on turn two is one of the best plays you can make. I also really don't like Colony Garden. I don't, again, I don't like any lands that are entering tapped. All in the initiative deck, there's probably another version that we could play. This version sucks because it's just too fragile, too inconsistent, and it can still lose even when you turn one or two an initiative creature. Just Guy Ephemerate, really good. Once again, you need to be playing Murmuring Mystic or something in the deck. You can't just play Ephemerate plus Archaeomancer. Koldotha Red with the Name Sticker Goblin is total bullshit and is obviously the best deck in the format by a mile. I can't believe that the Name Sticker Goblin isn't banned. Kiln Fiend is also pretty solid. But it's just, again, worse than Cold Author Red. It's more all-in. It's more susceptible to removal. I don't think you should be playing Swift Spear in it. I think you just want as many Kiln Fiend creatures as you can get, and there's 12 of them. Uh, Jund Midrange is the same, basically just the same thing as Golgari Midrange, but you're playing usually Boarding Party and some Red Bolt spells. Basically, they're the same deck. The Pestilence deck that we played was not good. You could probably build a better Pestilence deck, but I still think Pestilence is just fundamentally not that great of a card. Mono White Heroic is not good, and it's actually just a worse version of Boggles. Mono Black Control slash Devotion is all right, but it really depends on the deck you're playing against. If your removal, like especially Kumbaj Witches, if your opponent has a bunch of X1s that you can Kumbaj, then it's good. But if your removal doesn't line up well against them, then it's just worse most of the time than just like Golgari or Jun Midrange. Ponza and Cascade are basically the same deck. It just depends on how much of Bombs versus the Ponza cards you're playing, and both decks are basically playing the same cards. It's fine. It has the problem, again, of you need to draw the right mix of ramp and threats, and if you and you can just flood out on ramp and not have any threats, or you can play, like, one threat and then flood out, and the deck doesn't have any removal, or maybe you could play three Screds in it or so, but still, it's very low on removal, meaning your initiative is liable to get taken. Mono Green Aggro, I didn't play because I think the deck's awful. Here's the list. This looks really bad. And I couldn't figure out a way to like switch around the numbers or replace these cards with other aggro creatures to make it good. So I just vetoed this. Uh, Rakdos Madness is not great. It's worth, not only is it worse than Mono Red, like Koldotha Red, but even the payoffs are not as good as just the cards that are already in Mono Red anyway. And you have to play tap lands. So I think Madness is not good. One Land Spy sucks, way too fragile. You lose to Graveyard Hate, but unlike deck, unlike the other Graveyard decks like Goblins or Cycle Storm that actually have a really good combo, the One Land Spy combo is just not good. Uh, Proliferate Poison, this was a really fun deck. You can probably tweak the numbers on here a little bit. If you're not familiar with it, it was this deck where you're running the Depletion Counterlands and then a bunch... Uh, Depletion Counterlands, Pented Prism, and Everflowing Chalice, and a bunch of Proliferate cards so that you go up on mana and you never run out of Depletion Lands. And then you kill your opponent by giving them poison and proliferating the poison. This is basically the better version of Turbo Fog. Because it's also playing the Fog cards, but it's just a better version of that deck. Then there is Blue Black Terror. I think this is just worse than Mono Blue Delver. Because it's basically the same deck, except you're running Gurmags instead of just four Cryptic Serpents. And you don't run Delver in the deck. Although maybe some versions do, I don't know. Gurmag just feels like worse than any of the other Serpent creatures. And I don't feel like the black spells really offer a lot to the deck, especially when Snap basically does the same thing. And you're running tap lands, which is always bad. In my experience, mono green aggro is ass. Yeah, this brew was cool to run into. Definitely going to my popper cube or battle box. Do you mean the, the proliferate one? 
Uh, walls, we didn't play the combo version, but we did play the cascade version, but both decks are basically doing the same thing of play a bunch of wall-based ramp cards and then ramp into either big cascade and initiative creatures in the cascade version or just the combo cards in the combo version. Either way, I think both decks are solid. Turbo Fog's not good. It's got too many problems and the proliferate poison deck's just a better version of it. Tireless Tribe combo was interesting, but it's too all in. It's too easy to just either outrace it or just kill it with removal or counter spells. Slivers was okay. Again, you probably need to redesign the deck. I think even though cards like Winged Sliver, Heart Sliver, Hunter Sliver, etc. are good, having a mono base that extends beyond two colors and then having all these awkward tap lands is just not good. And again, the deck needs to get out of the gate faster, so you just probably need to play mono ramp creatures in order to do it. Even in the last league, we even fought a Sliver's deck that was playing Lotus Petal just to get going faster and fix. But I think that's not the way to take it. I think the way to take it is just to play Mono Dorks because the games where you have three mana on turn two or where you get gem hide sliver out are much better than the games where you don't and you can just fill up with lead the stampede and winding way and then the horn sliver giving trample is sort of the same thing as wing sliver giving flying but just with a much better cleaner mana base uh tortured existence i think we just played a bad version of it the version we played was basically just golgari mid-range but with tortured existence in it which is bad if you're going to play tortex play this version that has more like pseudo combo synergy stuff going on where you can like get creatures back with grave scrabbler and whatnot and again just always run exhume when you're running the cycle guys uh reanimator was fine we did poorly with it but a lot of that was due to variance and we had a lot of close games it's once again got the pro same problem as a bunch of these other combo decks which is that, is that it loses to graveyard hate although it doesn't exactly lose to graveyard hate because you can use your rituals to ritual out a troll but it's still also just susceptible to stuff like Edicts. The problem is its bombs are not the bombs that are in normal reanimator decks. Gristlebrand, Atraxa, Archon of Cruelty, none of its creatures have e have like powerful ETB triggers, so you get value out of them even if they die or, or fill up more cards in case they die. So even if you go through all the trouble of spending all of your resources and reanimating them, then they just wind up get you know biting it from an Edict or something, and then you're way behind again. Serpentine Curve was awful. It's just Mono Blue Delver, but with a worse threat in it. So don't play that. And then Zubra Storm was also awful. So don't play that. And that is the Popper Wheel. Um, Koldotha Red is by far and away the best deck in the format because of the name sticker Goblin. Other good decks are Grixis Affinity, uh, one of the wall decks, Delver, and wall yeah walls i think like those are pretty much the, the decks you should be on if you're trying to win more than anything else the decks that were the most fun to play grixis affinity uh boros synthesizer elves had its moments oh yeah elves is also one of the best decks uh, elves had its moments uh what else i mean as bullshit as name sticker goblin is it was fun casting two of them into multiple impulses and then kicking a bushwhacker and this deck was fun a lot of it because just because of the novelty of how unique and weird it is walls i also liked but yeah, that is going to wrap up Popper. So if you joined the marathon or you're watching any of these streams or you're watching any of these videos on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed yourself. And that is it for all of the format marathons. So next is possibly viewer brews, probably a stream where I go over deck text and look at people's brews and maybe make suggestions. And if I like any of the decks enough, we may play them on stream. But anyways, that is the end of Popper. So I will see you guys next time.